Hello creatives here, welcome to the second episode of Mastering the Pixel Lab Max 2. So if you have gone through the first episode, I have explained to you how you can use the max mode, which is this. I have explained the, the, the use of the max mode, how you can subtract, how you can copy, how you can add, how you can adjust each max mode that you are using. And also I have explained how you can use the BZ mode, the, the position key and the BZ mode. Also the action key, what these things are used for in the first episode. However, if this is the first video you are coming across, please note that I have done the first episode. So do well to check out the first episode the video just before this one and then you'll be able to um, understand how we got to this particular point right so without watching the first episode you might not actually understand what i'm about to do in this particular episode so make sure you check out that particular video first or check it up after watching this video but i would recommend you to actually go through the first one then once you are done with that you come back to this particular one and watch it because where we stop in the first episode is where we are continuing um in this particular episode which is the second episode all right so if you've gone through the first episode, you remember that I said we are going to be creating something similar to this particular design. Yes. So what really happened was that I came across the design on Pinterest and I decided to like show you how to use it because the Max 2 was actually used here. You can achieve this making use of the Max 2 on Pixel Lab. I mean, you can see this is what I was able to come up with. This particular design right here. This was what I was able to come up with, right? So I'm going to show you how you can also achieve this making use of the Pixel Lab Max 2. As you can see, the illusion, how was this created in a way that this theory was coming out from this guy's back? You understand? The way this thing was being created. Yes, so that's basically what I'm going to be showing you. First of all, I couldn't get the exact fonts that was being used on this particular design, right? But then I got something that at least I can use and I could not get this particular person's image. But then I got another image and I'm going to be providing you with this particular resources, right? I was able to get it online and um, this is it. At least it's not the exact same image, but at least I think this is actually going to work because the, the, the boots of the model are folding their arms and that is basically the impression I wanted. So the, this particular design resources will be provided for you in this particular video description. Just check this video description box. You are going to get this particular image. So with that, you'll be able to practice and then probably you'll be able to understand how I'm achieving this. Remember, until you implement what I'm going to be teaching you before you will be able to relate with what. Um, it is that I'm doing with the Max 2. So make sure you implement. Without implementing, you might not actually understand how to use the Max 2. So watch this video, understand and implement. And that is why I provide you with the design resources so that you'll be able to practice. If you did not get it right, come back to the video again, watch it slowly, carefully and implement. Okay, so that is how you learn. First of all, let me hide these particular resources. As you can see, this is one of the videos I have uploaded in the past. I have uploaded a video on how you can actually achieve this. We also use the Max 2 if you have watched this particular video. When this channel actually got to 800 subscribers, I uploaded this video and um, I, I used the Max 2 if you have watched that particular video. It is also on my channel. You can check it out on how you can achieve something like this. We use the Max 2 if you remember very well and you have watched this particular video. We use the Max 2. The same thing applicable to this. I mean, this particular one right here. We also use the Max 2 in this particular case. I mean, how you can pop out images from shape like this. This video is popping up right now on the top right corner of your phone in case you want to watch this particular tutorial video. I also explained to you how you can use the Max 2 to like pop out images from shape. It was the Max 2. So the Max 2 can be used to create a kind of illusion. And I believe if you have watched the first um, episode, right, you are not going to be having any issue with this again. So the same thing. I, I believe you, mu you must have come across things like this. This is actually my picture. But then... I've gotten questions too that how was I able to achieve it? It was still the same process of doing this, right? The same process you would have done, you would have used in creating something like this was the same process I used in creating my WhatsApp um, profile picture, right? As at this moment, it's still the same thing I'm using for my YouTube. So I created this making use of the Max 2. I mean, how this image was fitting in properly, shape, Max 2, and my logo. That is all. That was all I did. So you can use the Max 2. Like the Max 2 is a very important tool. So on this particular video, I believe you, you, you will not find this ad if you have watched the video on how to do this. You will not find it hard to create something like my own profile picture, right? You can also create something. So I will not be going into all this video. What we are going to be focusing on is this particular one, right? How you can create something like this. And like I said, this was the resources I was able to get. So without further ado, let's proceed with the video tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is to hide the original design, right? I'm going to hide it. And then like you can see right here, if we should study the first design, the original design itself, you will notice that the, the background, the creator of this design used the color on the shirt as the background. So that's the first thing we're going to do. All right. Please note that that design is not mine. I'm only trying to use it to show you, right? So I'm going to click on this icon. Then I'll click on color and then I'll pick, I'll, I'll tap on this plus icon, right? Then I'll click on this color picker icon to select a color from the, um, the man's shirt, right? I would like to select a, a darker shade, a very dark shade, right? Yes. No, this is too dark. This is too dark. It is more like a gray color. Yes, I think this is actually cool. All right. Now, the next thing is, 
I want this image to be facing the other way around, just like the first, um, the original image, right? So I'll click on this middle icon, then go to 3D rotates. Then I'll rotate the Y axis, right? So now I would position this at the middle for now. Now I don't want this down part because it is too excess. You should notice the main design, right? Though I could have erased it making use of the max tool, but I don't actually want to do that now. You should notice the down part was not there. Though the person used the max tool, though the person used the max tool, but then we can surprise the the work we want to do here by clicking on crop. Then we'll crop out the down part. All right, so this is great. Now, if you have watched the first episode, like I said, you will not be having issues on how to use the max tool. Now, the first thing I want to bring in is a text. If you should notice the text that was used there is 23. That is, maybe the person was born on the 23rd of February, right? So I did not actually know the original designer. I could have given credit to him, but then I did not know the original designer. And I told you already, I come across the design on Pinterest. So this is it right here. Then... I'll go to my AB font, and like I said, I could not get the exact font, right? This is the second screen record I'm doing for this video because it took me time looking for the fonts that can at least work for this. So, I um, the, the font I, I, I used for the replica was this one right here, Biko underscore black, Biko underscore black. I have a video on my YouTube channel already on how you can download and install fonts, so you can check it out, and then you will be able to get this font I'm using right here, right? So, as you can see, I'm going to increase the size of the font a bit more, then I'll position it at the uh, middle right here in a way that you can see this too right you can position it at the middle if you, if you notice let me lock the font first then i'll bring to the front the man's image you see this man's image we are going to adjust it in a way that you see is this place this elbow right his elbow will be inside the two properly but let me increase the size of the text a bit more position it at the middle then i'll move it up like this right great now you can see that the elbow this down part is not exceeding that line that two line right the two the down part of the two that is exactly the impression we want to create now we are going to be using a stroke by going to stroke we'll add a stroke to our text we'll add a stroke to our text and the stroke color is going to be the same color on the background it's going to be the same color on the background you can see that right so if i'm using a different color this is what we are going to get you can see this is what i'm saying but then since we are using the same color on the background you are not going to see it but then it is necessary right so i'm going to be using a stroke width of five then i'll go to my spacing this spacing right here then i want to increase i want to reduce the letter spacing i want to make the text closer to each other so i'll use minus uh five now i'll go to my relative position then position it at the middle just like this so you can see what you have been able to achieve so far all right now the next thing is to duplicate this same text just copy it right copy the text then we'll position it on top of each other you can see what I'm trying to do. We'll position it on top of each other. Please follow me carefully, right? Then the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to hide the one at the top for now. I'm hiding the one at the top for now, right? Then I'm going to lock this man's image. I will lock it up. Now, we want to max this man's image first. But then if we should click on this, then we go to max, right? Let's go to max. Sorry, I'm not using the eraser. The eraser cannot even work in this aspect. So we can use the max tool. You will see, immediately I click on max, this image turned the other way around. And if you should notice the other time too, when I click on crop, the image turned the other way around, right? This is because I use the 3D rotate to rotate the image. Now, what are we going to do to achieve this? We are just going to bring in a shape, right? Anything, you can bring in anything. Then when you bring it in, you can either hide it, um, you can move it out of the workspace or better still, you hide the shape. Position it anywhere. Click on this eyes icon to hide it, right? Click on this eyes icon to hide it. Then you click on this icon right here. Select the man image with the shape you have hidden, right? Then match them both together. Please make sure you hide the shape. When you match them together, you will realize that it will remain just that man image. You can see. So with this, it is no longer going to be giving us issue when you when you, when you go to max. You can see that it's not giving us issue again. And if you, even if you go to crop, it's not going to give us issue. It's not going to turn around, okay? So I'll just go to max, right? I'll go to max. Now, what am I trying to max out? I want to give it a space. You can see. What I want to do here is, I want to give it a space in a way that, you see this space between the two and three will be the only available space. So I have already shown you how you can work on your max out and your max in the busy mode in the first episode. So I believe you must know how to use this by now if you have watched the first episode. So I will just bring this busy mode, right? This node, I'll bring it closer. And then you see this node, this right here. I will bring it here. Now, you can actually activate your grid line. 
I have a video on my YouTube channel as well on how you can use the grid line, how you can use the grid line effectively. So if you are not seeing what you are doing properly, right, you can always use your grid line. And how do you do that? You can see this. I'll bring it to the two. And this is already on the down part of the two as well. So I think we're actually good to go. These are the two grid lines I'm going to use. So you can see that it's attracting, it's helping me attract, right? So that is what I'll be using to guide my work, right? This is what I'll be using to guide the project. Okay, so this as well, since there is a grid line already, it will be easier for me to use. I'll position this here, position this here, and this here. Now, you might not see what I'm doing, but the grid line has helped me in a very good way. So now, I want to free this space. I want to free this space. And how do I do that? I'll go back to my bizarre mode, right? You see this node? I'll just adjust it to something like this. Okay, so I'll tap on this node as well. And then I'll adjust this. Please take your time to implement. You really need to implement. If you do not implement, you might not understand what I'm doing. And if you have not watched the first episode as well, you really might not understand what I am doing here. So make sure you implement what you are you are learning, right? And challenge yourself. That's why I will be providing you with the, to, um, the, the resources I'm using, right? That is why I will be providing you with the resources. So I'll just max this out. And... Uh, you can see what I'm trying to achieve there, right? Using the Max tool. I have explained all these things in the first episode. So make sure you check it out. Now look at what I've been able to achieve. I've erased the damn part. I've erased totally the damn part. But then you can see, if I should zoom in, this part right here should is not really perfect yet. So I'll tap on the man's image. I'll lock it so that my hand will not be moving it. Then I'll go back to Max. Then I'll, I'll edit the node. I'll edit the node. So the goal is just to max out the... the the outer part of that two and three and now we are good to go now the next thing is to work with the next image and um, the next text rather this particular text that we duplicated so i will move it back to the top you can see it right here now what we are going to be doing here is pretty easy right so just tap on the the text now we are going to be maxing the text remember in the first um episode we did not max out the text so i'll go to the, i'll go to this place max but before going to the max we are not really going to be maxing out the two what we are going to do here is we'll go to our color Click on color. Now, I light only the two here. Look at it. I light only the two. Then tap on plus. Tap on this plus icon. Then reduce the transparency so that the two will be invisible totally. So that it will be remaining just the stroke. Do you see what I'm doing there? Now, the next thing is to go to max. It's only the three we want to max. Now, we'll go to our bizarre mode and position the max two. We'll move this up. We'll move this up. Because we want to use the first max mode to erase something from the, from the three. All right, look at what we have been able to achieve. So the theory now, we have been able to achieve the theory in a way that it's popping out from the man's back successfully. The theory is now popping out from the man's back successfully. But then if you should look at the, um, the reference design, which is um, this particular design right here, this is just one thing we have been able to achieve. Now we are left with this part. We notice that this part, right, it's not having that stroke on the two. Then we need to add one more max. You can see this particular stroke, this tiny line is not there. So how do we get rid of it, right? We'll tap on the text. We'll go back to max. The first max we added, if you watch the first episode, I show you two, two ways, right? So the first max mode has helped us to um, max out the three. It has helped us to max out the three, uh, the, the three. And then the second max mode that we are going to be adding now, by adding this, I've shown you in the first episode, we are just going to go to position and move it in a way that it's going to help us max out this, right? Then we'll click on the bizarre mode. Like I said, if you did not watch the first episode, everything I'm saying, bizarre mode, max mode, it will be like I'm, 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 I'm doing magic. So make sure you watch it, right? Make sure you, first, you watch the first episode. So now look at what we have been able to achieve. But then this is not perfect yet. Look at the down part. So we need to work on the down part, right? We need to work on the down part. How do we do that? We can easily tap on the man's image only. Then we move it up. We move the man's image up. And uh, yes, we have gotten rid of it. And look at what we have been able to get. It's very, very simple. Now we can go ahead, bring in a text. Bring in a text. The, the um, color of the text is going to be on the background, the one on the background. So we we'll edit the text. Just input, um, I think the person used birthday, right? Birthday. Then the birthday was, I, let me just use poppins as the font. AB fonts. Then I'll tap on this and then I'll, I'll, I'll select poppins. Poppins board. Poppins board. All right, so I'll reduce the size to something small and position it right here. 
it's very simple so i will bring in another text okay instead of bringing in another text let's just copy this particular text all right then i will edit it and just input loading this time around in small letter with two dots and uh, three dots in front now i will not be using the poppins board here i will not be using the poppins board i'll just go to poppins and change it from poppins board to poppins regular so i'll just go to ab font and then i'm going to select i'm going to look for poppins regular right poppins regular yes and look at it we have been able to achieve that i think the next thing here is the next thing here is to duplicate the text bring it right here edit it and just input the february i think fe just february feb and the person used the white text actually he used a white text and how do you do how can you do it just come here color and use a white text a white text and then go to stroke go to stroke add a stroke and the stroke is going to be the stroke um the color of the one on the background that is color repetition and tada this is what we've got this is what we've got so please make sure you implement i would like to see your own design right i'm going to be leaving a link to a group the cnc group in this particular video description box there are two things i'm going to be leaving for you i'm going to leave the um the, the the i'm going to leave this particular design resources which is this man image and i'm also going to be leaving to you the group link where you can implement right so when you implement and do something make sure you send your design there and then you tag me on whatsapp i'm going to make sure i check out your design if you made any mistake i'll be there to guide you through so i hope this video has been helpful so far and you have learned how to use the max tool effectively make sure you keep implementing and become a master in this particular tool it is very important you know how to use it as a graphic designer using pixel lab it's not just that Max 2 is being used on only Pixel Lab, but then as a graphic designer, you should be able to use all the tools on your software, okay? So the next episode is going to be on how you can master the BZ2. So stick around to my YouTube channel again. If you are yet to subscribe, do well to hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and comment if the video was helpful. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this particular video. See you on the next one.